We have another main purpose question, so we're not really getting much to go on. Just go right into the passage, and as you're reading it, try not to get bogged down in the details, right? What are they saying about the topic? Don't try to learn about the topic. What are they saying about the topic? Researchers have long hypothesized that woolly mammoths were hunted to extinction in North America by humans using spears with grooved tips known as Clovis points. So long hypothesized, right? We've got something that's been an idea for a long time. Let's continue. One anthropologist set out to test this hypothesis. So they're testing it. Notice the stuff I'm highlighting could be words in any passage about any topic. Using a mechanical spear thrower, he launched spears with clovis points into mounds of clay, substitutes for the animal's large bodies. The projectiles generally penetrated only a few inches into the clay, an amount insufficient to have harmed most woolly mammoths. So it's insufficient, right? They, they said this is how they were hunted but now they're saying it's insufficient. This led the anthropologist to conclude that hunters using spears with Clovis points likely weren't the principal drivers of the extinction. Weren't the principal drivers. I mean, now we can go back and be like, wait a minute, what did they say at the beginning? What was the hypothesis? Woolly mammoths were hunted to extinction, right? So because I kind of got to the conclusion and see like what they want me to care about, that there's something that we are maybe disproving in this experiment, we can go back and be like, okay, but was that the main hypothesis from the start? I don't need to memorize that hypothesis when I'm reading. I, I know it's there, it's not going anywhere, so I can come back to it if I need to. Now let's see, this question is much more about the uh, idea of testing and disproving a hypothesis than it is about woolly mammoths. So let's, let's see what the choices say. To argue for the significance of new findings amid an ongoing debate among researchers. Well, it does not sound like an ongoing debate, right? The beginning part, notice where I highlighted, they long hypothesized that the mammoths were hunted to extinction by humans. So that doesn't sound like a debate. That sounds like everyone agrees. Now this one person did an experiment and said, hey, maybe that's not true. But that's not a debate. One person saying, I, I found something that maybe disproves this hypothesis. That, that's the start of a debate maybe, but that's not a debate. Um, so there are new findings. That part I'll give you, but it, it's definitely very strong to say this is an ongoing debate. So you might leave this choice, but it's definitely wrong in my mind here. Uh, B, to discuss the advantages and disadvantages of the method used in the experiment. No, they, they, they describe the method. Notice I didn't highlight any of it because I didn't care because the passage is not about the method itself. And, and this is kind of why that choice is wrong. They are not saying the method was good or the method was bad. This experiment was good or flawed or whatever. Sometimes we do get that in passages, but that's not what's going on here. It's about the conclusion of the experiment, not the process of the experiment, if that makes any sense. C, to summarize two competing hypotheses and a major finding associated with each one, no, remember, there was no other hypothesis at the start. Like I said, the same reason there's no debate. Everyone agreed that the mammoths were hunted to extinction by humans. Now there's this one piece of evidence that maybe suggests that that's not entirely true. But to say that there were two competing hypotheses from the start is wrong. Maybe the next paragraph of whatever article this, pa this passage would be in would say, now there's two schools of thought and some people think this one thing and some people think this other thing. But that's not what's happening here. So we are not allowed to make this kind of big leap and say that just because there's now some disagreement Agreement, there always was. So let's look at C or D. To describe an experiment whose results cast doubt on an established hypothesis. And this is what I've been saying as I've disproved the other choices, right? It's definitely an established hypothesis. They say it has long been hypothesized right at the beginning. So established means it's been around for a long time. And now we do have some doubt. But notice we're not talking about debate, right? We're not talking about this big like, oh, now we completely think the opposite. No, we are. We have a little bit of doubt. We have one piece of evidence, right? So let's not jump to a huge conclusion here. We have one piece of evidence from one experiment that casts doubt on this long established theory. In real life, that would not be enough to completely upend the science here, but we don't have the rest of this passage. We don't, we don't care, right? This is the end of it. And so we just know that, okay, at the end of this, this one guy is like, all right, maybe, maybe there's more to this theory than we think, but that's enough. That's all we get. So don't go with these big leaps of saying now the entire anthropological world is in disarray because everybody is now fighting over what really killed the mammoths. No, this is just one experiment, stick to the passage, and don't make giant leaps in logic, stick to what they say in the lines.